Midwest hunting and outdoors by two dumbasses. Uh, tips and tricks. So we're just going to talk a, a very brief episode here, and I'll include some uh, information off the web on these. But uh, it's getting that time of year. We're fortunate to have some dead wood, some down wood, and where you have this dead, moist wood, it could be a tree standing up that's dead but moist. Um, in my case, it's some logs laying down you're going to have some mushrooms coming up. And uh, the mushrooms I want to talk about today are called oyster mushrooms. A friend of ours, in fact, J.B. Hunter Extraordinaire turned us on to these. Um, they're, they're, they've got a stem with a top on it, a uh, very delicate uh, mushroom, and very white. And on the underside, there will be some veins. And if the veins start at the top um, and go all the way to the stem, that's a good indication that it's an oyster mushroom. Now, what I like doing, what we've liked have done with these is we've actually dehydrated them, um, we've battered them and eaten them like morales, um, put them in soup. They're, to me, they have more flavor and they're more earthy than a morale, and uh, they're fantastic. So make, you, make sure you know what you're eating. Uh, the key here is a white mushroom growing on a log or a dead tree, and uh, look for the veins and I'll give you some video on that. Look for the veins starting at the stem going all the way up through the top. Um, if it doesn't have that, it's not an oyster mushroom. When you pick uh, these oyster mushrooms, uh, again, they're pretty delicate. They're going to be dirty. If you wash them off, um, it, it kind of ruins them. So the best thing to do is just kind of brush them off, uh, get a brush or brush them off, get them as clean as you can. Um, and uh, then, then dehydrate them or batter them and eat them. Um, but if you put them in water, they're, they're really not going to last very long at all. So take a shot at these, enjoy them, uh, be safe, know what you're eating, but I think you're really going to like these oyster mushrooms. Thanks for watching. <music>
as you saw, I had some leftover chicken breast that I grilled yesterday, so I just diced those up, put in an onion and the oyster mushrooms, and uh, I thought some red beans would taste good with it, so. Excellent. Give these oyster mushrooms a, uh, a try and a chance because I think you'll really fall in love with them. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Iowa Missouri Hybrids has been a family-owned business since the 1930s. Located in historic Keosauqua, Iowa, Aaron and his team are a one-stop shop for farmers, hunters, and landowners. For your conservation program, CRP, food plots, and all planting needs, Give Aaron at IMH a call and tell him the two dumbasses sent you. Established in 1934, Pete and Shorty's is located on Main Street, Clarksville, Iowa. Pete and Shorty's is famous for their half-pound burgers, hand-breaded tenderloins, and homemade pizza. The beer is always cold and the Bloody Marys are the best in town. Stop in and tell Mike and Amy that the two dumbasses sent you. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.